together for a brand new show. Scooby Doo is here again, away we go. I'm Scooby Doo and running from a spooky ghost. Shaggy is a doing what he does the most. Master Jimmy, you'll need all the extra stamina you can get to win that tennis tournament. Don't worry, Nick. Finishing first at Wimbledon is my dream. Hey, Nick, look at this. It's a staff of some kind. Yo, it's alive! I am the warlock Anthos, free at last from my age-long sleep. I have returned to fulfill my curse against the Pelton family. Peltons? I'm a Pelton. Yes, the last of the Peltons. As long as you have my cursed staff, you are doomed. Jimmy, get rid of it. Ha-ha! <laughs> there is no escape. You are doomed. Hurry up, Pedro. It's almost time for the ghost of General Juan Carlos to appear. I... I think we'd better go home, Diego. Don't be scared, amigo. If the ghost appears, I will protect you. I... <laughs> ay, ay, ay! Yay! It's the ghost! Run! Start. 
Start! Start! and you will not get away from me. No, please! There's no place to hide, nowhere to run. You won't get away from me. It's open. I know you're here somewhere, Tony Sines. There's no escape! <laughs> no! Like, how lucky can we get, Scoob? We'll be safe from the skeleton man in this sub. <laughs> Zoinks! Like, what's wrong, Scoob? Relax, Scoob. <laughs> it's only a little bird. A little bird? <laughs> the skeleton man! Zoinks! They're here! We gotta hide! Come on! Oh, it seems like every door on this ship is locked. At least this one wasn't locked while we were inside. Maybe I can get in through the porthole. Boost me up, Scooby. <laughs> Oh no! The Kelp Monster is in there! Huh? <laughs> like, let's split? Wait, Shaggy, I have an idea. Hand me that rod and reel. <laughs> this is no time to go fishing. It's a perfect time to go fishing. For help. S.O.S. S.O.S. Our position is... <laughs> like somebody playing the bagpipes. Bagpipes? On a foggy night in the middle of nowhere? Who'd do a thing like that? Like, like, like how about him? <laughs> Jeepers! A ghost! A <laughs> ghost? Wow! An old Scottish Highlander. Ooh. 
place for eating, which is all the time in any place. But not now and not here. <laughs> Don't take that! <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for laughing, Scoob. You ruined a perfectly good dinosaur. <laughs> it's the ghost of William Demonic! will be mine. when our concert tickets would have cost us ten bucks each. And now for our next number, an original based on an ancient voodoo chant, Mambo Wamba. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Mamba, Wamba. Unga Mamba, Unga Wamba. Doing the Mamba, doing the Samba. Mamba, Wamba. you have dared to violate the sacred voodoo chant, you must suffer the curse of Mamba Wamba. Hector, you have not heeded my warnings. It's Katazuma, but he shrunk to our size. Now you will suffer the curse of Katazuma. <laughs> Let's throw a little light on the subject. Jinkies, it's kind of spooky out here. Relax, Velma. We're just a few miles from my uncle's ranch. And now, Scoob, I'll show you how you eat a Texas weenie. Now, like you start at one end, see? <laughs> Texas weenies aren't very good. The meat tastes like bread. <laughs> like what happened, Freddy? In the sky. Creeper! A flying bull! You mean a flying ghost bull? Ghost bull? Nice! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I didn't. The, the, the cat. I... The cat. It wasn't me. The cat. Oh. Oh. China sure is exciting. Yeah, like I'm learning a lot of important Chinese words. Important? Like what, Shag? <laughs> like, listen to this. Chop suey, chow mein, war wonton, suey gao, chow ya! <laughs> I can see why Big Canyon was chosen for this year's hang gliding tournaments. You bet, Velma. Up there, you can fly for miles. And like you can drop for miles, too. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend's contest ought to be terrific. Only the most experienced flyers were invited to compete. Like even if I knew how to hang glide, I wouldn't fly through this creepy canyon. What is it? Oh, stop worrying. This is the last place in the world something weird could happen. Training room. Come on. We're safe, Scoob. <laughs> Not a ghost in sight. <laughs> Check the lockers. Okay. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing here either. Nothing here. Uh, nothing here. Nothing. No, oh, it couldn't be. <sighs> hey, Scoob, like I think I found a clue. Like the trouble with following these tracks is we might run into the monster that's making them. Yeah. Oh boy, if I live to be a hundred, I'll never forget that tar monster roar. <laughs> Pretty good, Scoob. You sound just like him. <laughs> I mean, that's terrific, Scoob. I lie, I lie. <laughs> for a fast makeup job. store still has a shelf full of old medicines. Castor oil, cod liver oil. Wait a minute. Look at that shelf. Somebody or something has been at those bottles. I think you found a clue. I wonder what's in this one. Yuck. What an awful smell. Yikes! Relax, everybody. It's just us chickens. Hey, you found Daphne. And look what we found. Wow. That's just like the smoke those demons give off. Exactly. But like this smoke's not so scary when the demon's not around, huh? <laughs> 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 
What is it? The demon! Run! He's still after us! Faster! The only way we can stop him is with the talisman! Right! We better get back to San Francisco! There's a bad storm heading our way, and the water's starting to get rough. Maybe we'd better head for shore. Hang on, gang. Choppy water. <laughs> hey, Scoob! Like I can't see where I'm going! Two show-offs. Now you? <laughs> Red, look! It's a school of man-eating sharks. Jeepers, if that's a school, that must be the teacher. Let's get out of here, now. <laughs> sharks? She swore she would when they burned her at the stake 200 years ago. Stop babbling, you fool. Who has risen? Melissa Wilcox, the witch of Salem. Are baffled as none of the safes were broken into. 
all were done as though the burglars knew the combinations. Well, I'm more interested in getting the combination to a job. Good idea, Shag. We're running out of money. See anything in the help wanted columns? Here's one. Construction workers needed, no experience necessary. Apply anytime. That's for us. Come on, Scoob. We've got a job. Yeah, like we gotta earn some dough before we can buy any more bread. <laughs> Hey, Scooby, here's a slice of pizza for you. Guess he's not hungry. Can't let it go to waste. People are starving, namely me. Northwoods trip sure is a great idea. Yeah, there sure are some great fishing spots up here. You heard what he said, Scoob. Like, I think we should practice our casting. Like, let her rip! <laughs> Zoinks! You really hooked him, Scoob! Hey, something's wrong. Jinkies, the river's flooded the road. Hang on, there's a side road. Whoops! Lucky we won't find them. Like in the movie, even a moat. And look, here's somebody to welcome us. Go back, leave here at once. <laughs> like my uncle owns this rock pile. Who are you? A Clarence, the caretaker. Now please, leave here. Where's Mr. Shagworthy? The master disappeared. D disappeared? Where? How? He's the victim of the curse of Camelot. <laughs> This is Camelot Castle? Yes, but when he brought it here from England, he also brought back with it the ghosts of Merlin, the sorcerer, and his evil servant, the Black Knight. Ghost? <laughs> ghosts or no ghosts, we're not going anywhere until we find Shaggy's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Who dares to enter the domain of the great Merlin? 
Uh -oh. <laughs> like, like, like we were just leaving. Foolish mortals, there is no escape. Since thou didst not heed my warning of no intruders, thou must also suffer the curse of Camelot. No, anything but that. Away with him! No, no! No, no, no! And as for thee, leave now, or I shall loose my black magic spells on you! <laughs> We've got to look for clues. Maybe we'll find something in these witchcraft books. Everything you want to know about witchcraft but are afraid to ask. Here's one called Spooky Spells. Fifteen nails east to west, middle north, the board with the knot, knock twice and once again, a string will show it all. That's a spell? No, but maybe it's a clue. Zoinks! <laughs> it's the witch! Here she comes! <laughs> Did you see that? The cat turned back into Witch McCoy! Oh, yeah! Who's in here? If I find any intruders in my cave, I'll turn them into toads. <laughs> that does it, Scoob. We're done for. <laughs> Look! The phantom. Where is he going? Where else? Back to his grave. Listen, gang, we better check out Boothville if we're going to solve this mystery. And our first stop will be... Don't tell me, don't tell me, the graveyard. Oop. My gracious. Oop and my gracious. Here we are, gang. The Boothville Cemetery. Ooh, sure is creepy. We'd better split up to look for the Booth Mausoleum. Now, Shaggy, you take the dogs and go that way, and we'll go this way. And keep your eyes open for any clues. Clues? Dum 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 boom. <laughs> uh oh, the phantom. <laughs> Look, the phantom is a bug. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Scooby Dum. Now let's find that mausoleum. <laughs> Out of gas, out of lights, out of heat, out of food, and oh, we gotta be out of our minds to stick around here. But if you're looking for a place to stay, you're welcome to spend the night here, kids. Thanks, Mayor Dudley. We'd appreciate that. But I would advise you to leave as soon as possible. Thanks for the warning, sir. But we're pretty good at solving mysteries. And maybe we can thaw this one out for you. I like first thing in the morning, Freddy, right? Wrong. Like right now. It looks like somebody opened this gate with a blowtorch. Yeah, and here's something else that's awfully strange. A clue? This is all new snow. Why should there be an icy trail through it? What caused it? And why would it lead right to the power plant? Come on, but be careful, Shag. It's slippery. And don't worry about me. They don't call me old Surefoot for nothing. Whoa! <laughs> Zoinks! We're headed for the door! Oh, do something! 
Shaggy and Scooby didn't. Wow, it sure is creepy in here. Just once I'd like to meet a ghost in a nice, friendly place. Come on, we've got to start looking for clues. This is the right road, Fred. Absolutely. Pa and Pa's skillet sent us complete directions to their showboat restaurant. Now we turn right at the abandoned grist mill, left at the cemetery, and right at the snake farm. There's nothing to worry about. We're coming to another sign. Entering Hokey Finoki Swamp. See? We're exactly on course. Uh-oh. That sign also says, proceed at your own risk. <laughs> Maybe we should alter course, like maybe in reverse. <laughs> reverse? We can't turn back now, Shay. The skillet's telegram said they were having big problems with the ghost of the gator ghoul. Ghost of the razor ghoul? <laughs> Relax, Scooby. I don't think you'll see any ghosts around here. Yeah. Party, remember? They probably saw one of the costume guests. Come on, you scaredies. Let's join the party. Anyway, if he did come and had a face, he wouldn't dare show it in here. Zoinks! What's happened? Like maybe you didn't pay the electric bill. I want a head. Zoinks! It's true. The headless horseman has come back. Let's get out of here! Hey. Run for it! Wait for me, Henry! Hurry, hurry! Hero sandwich, Scooby. Scooby may be right, gang. Something big's going on out there. I'm the owner of the coin shop, Lieutenant. The robber knew exactly what he was after and took only one thing. Oh, what was that? The Golden Galleon, a rare 16th century coin. Oh, I should have known this would happen. Uh, how come? Over a hundred years ago, its owner placed a curse on the coin. Bad luck to anyone who possessed it. He swore he'd reclaim the coin one day, and his zombie has been roaming the earth for centuries to find it. Curse? Zombie? Look, sir, I'm only after the facts. 
Too bad there were no witnesses. There was a witness, Lieutenant. Oh, him. Him? Yes, sir. He saw a no-face zombie. Show him, Scoob. No face. No face. <laughs> So on, inside, quick. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Uh, <clears throat> I'm the ship's recreation officer, and you are just in time for your Polynesian dancing lesson. <laughs> Aha, a perfect fit. And away we go. I like you catch on very quickly, sir. How about a really neat pester beat? Uh oh. Like class dismissed. <laughs> Zoinks! Oh, he's got a scoob. <laughs> I will take you with me 5,000 years into the future. Oh, but I don't want to be a 5,000-year-old teenager. <laughs> wow, do you see what I see? An old submarine scoop. Oh. Let's hide inside. Good work, Scoob. Look, Shaggy and Scooby hid inside that old sub. And the monster's after them. Come on! Yeah, it's a monster! It's inside the sub! There's no sign of Shaggy and Scooby. Oh, no? Did you ever see a medicine cabinet with a tail? Hey, Shaggy! <laughs> we thought you were the monster. <laughs> it's in here. We know. If you don't mind, we'll stay in here. If you don't mind, out, out, out. <laughs> no way out. And it seems to be getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, like our only hope is for Shaggy and Scooby to find us. In other words, we're doomed. Fred and the girls should have come back a long time ago, Scoob. We better track them down. Don't tell me. Uh-huh. In there. Like, I don't want to go in there. But we got to find Fred and the girl, Scoob, so come on. <laughs> oh, it's dark and spooky in here, Scooby. <laughs> we fooled you. the U.S. border, Fred? No, I'm not. I think we're lost. Lost? On a creepy night like this? In the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Relax, you two. There's nothing to worry about. We'll find the main road soon. Hey, look up ahead! 
It's a roadblock. Jeepers, what's going on? Hold it right there. Stay in your vehicle. Like, right, who are you? I am Officer Oldfield of the Royal Canadian Border Patrol. What are you doing on this road? We're like tourists, aren't we, Scoop? Uh-huh, <laughs> See? This side road's a favorite of lawbreakers trying to sneak across the border. Our only crime is that we're lost. You kids can proceed, but be sure to take the left fork ahead. Foster Road. It'll take you to the main highway. Okay, officer, and thanks. Remember, don't take the right fork. There have been lots of weird things happening on that road. Weird things? Like the ghost of Dr. Coffin, who went mad coming back to haunt the whole area. Ghosts? Ghosts are bad enough, but mad ghosts are the worst. Mm -hmm. oh. Thanks for the warning. <laughs>